Yo, what is up, everyone? Today, we're going to talk about drug-drug interactions with cannabis. This is extremely important if you yourself are on many different medications or um, if you are a caretaker for someone else and are helping them with cannabis as medicine. This is something um, to consider before using cannabis products, specifically in high doses. A lot of what we're gonna talk about today is centered around enzymes. So I wanna very quickly talk about what is an enzyme. What is an enzyme? So enzymes are specialized proteins in the body. And I like to think of them as little machines because they're always used to get something done in the body. Um, They facilitate reactions. So for instance, if you needed to get something transported using energy and enzymes going to do that if you need to change a molecule in a way to make it easier to excrete and enzymes going to do that they are doers in the body and they're these tiny little machines that get a lot of things done in your cells so that's what an enzyme is we're going to focus in this video on a specific family of enzymes called cytochrome p450 enzymes you might have heard of them before because they're really important when we think about drug metabolism so cytochrome p450 enzymes are enzymes which purpose in your liver cells is to detoxify foreign substances and metabolize drugs so we're going to really focus on the drug metabolism today So when things are going through your liver and getting metabolized, that means these enzymes are changing them in a, in a very slight, but specific way to make it easier for your body to excrete them. So they're kind of these little machines where whatever drugs in your, in your bloodstream is going to go through these little machines. The machine's going to change them just slightly, and then they'll go back out slightly changed and easier to get rid of. So, I mentioned this is a class of enzymes. So within this class of cytochrome P450 enzymes, there's about 50 different members. And each of those specific members we call isozymes. So they're different isozymes within a family of enzymes. So you'll see cytochrome P450 and then a series of letters and numbers after it. That's referring to that specific isozyme. So those are the numbers that you wanna pay attention to when you're trying to check if your other drugs actually interact with the ones involved in cannabis metabolism. And this is a really fun fact, but I think um, six of these isozymes in the cytochrome P450 family are responsible for metabolizing 90% of drugs on the market. And that's why drug drug interactions are so common, not just in cannabis, just in general. So this is just kind of an infographic to walk through what could happen if you do have drug drug interactions with these enzymes. So. In this case, we're just focusing on CBD. So if CBD is present in your bloodstream and it has to go through these cells in your liver to get metabolized, the enzyme is what's going to do that metabolizing. So the CBD is coming in light green and it's leaving dark green. So it's mostly still the same, but just a little bit different. That's gonna make it easier to excrete. And cannabinoids are mostly excreted in the feces. Another fun fact. Okay, so let's say we have we're still taking CBD, but now we have another drug present, uh, whatever drug you're on, maybe it's a cholesterol lowering drug, a a statin. So in this case, CBD is still present and now the drugs present in our blood, they still need to get metabolized before they're excreted. And I just mentioned that six of these isozymes are responsible for metabolizing 90% of drugs. So the likelihood of one of these isozymes having to metabolize multiple things is very high. And that just keeps compounding based on how many medications that you're taking and the dose is also going to matter. But in this case, now both of these substances need to get metabolized by that same enzyme before they're excreted, which is going to affect the efficiency of that enzyme. So that's not saying that both of these are now going to get metabolized at the same rate. Maybe one of them is metabolized easier than the other one. And what that can result in is either one or both of the substances in your blood building up. We call that an altered concentration 
because we see this as like a bottleneck now. This enzyme just can't work fast enough to process all of these substances in our body. And therefore, we have an altered concentration in in our blood, which could cause adverse effects. We know cannabinoids are pretty safe at high concentrations, but that's not the same for every drug. Some drugs can have very negative side effects if the concentration gets too high in your body. It can also cause um, the concentration to get too low in your body. Some substances make your metabolism go faster, so it's actually gonna get rid of them quicker. And just a reminder, when a new drug is entering the drug uh, pipeline for clinical trials, these are all things that are studied. What cytochrome P450 enzymes are responsible for metabolizing this drug? How long does it take? What's the best concentration to have in our blood for whatever use that drug is used for? But when they're going through clinical trials, it's not thought of like, okay, well, what if this patient is also taking CBD? You know, how fast is, is this person going to metabolize the drug in that case? Uh, that would be way too complicated because we would have to do that with everything. So instead, we say we just study a specific drug, understand how it's being metabolized and the effective concentration, and then it's going to be different for everyone based on how quickly you can metabolize the drugs uh, and what drugs you're on. So it's important to note, too, that some drugs can elevate the levels of cannabinoids and then some cannabinoids can elevate the levels of drugs. So in some cases, people will say, hey, I took this drug and it made my tolerance drop like I used to smoke three joints a day. And now if I take two puffs, I am just obliterated. And that has to, that can absolutely do with this. And it can affect the way that THC is metabolized. So THC is staying in your body longer. Um, and then we kind of were just reviewing how some cannabinoids can elevate the levels of drugs. Um, Another thing to note is this can also be unpredictable. So there are genetic differences uh, between all of us. And some of these genetic differences can actually be in the code that codes for these cytochrome P450 enzymes. So I could just naturally not be able to process drugs of a certain type as fast as some other people can. And again, that can be compounded if you're taking multiple drugs that need to be metabolized by the same enzyme. Um, and just a note, I'm not gonna go into detail, detail here about this, but there are also herb-herb interactions. Uh, this is much less studied because it's very complex because there's so many different compounds present in herbs. But this is why I personally don't even mix my herbal medicine too much. I don't take 12 different things a day. I just take one or two because if you think of those supplements, there are hundreds of different compounds that are able to interact and all those compounds need to be metabolized in your body. So just something to consider, but also consider that um, at higher concentrations, this becomes more of an issue. So if you keep your doses pretty low, it's less of an issue. And also smoking can have different interactions compared to eaten cannabinoids. Um, I know there's a good example with the drug theophylline and THC. It can affect the way uh, theophylline, THC can affect the way theophylline is metabolized in the body, affecting the concentration. And that's specifically with smoked products. And theophylline is used for asthma and COPD and lung related uh, diseases. So, this slide I'm including in case you want to do some Googling on your own or if you want to talk to your physician about this um, or just check your medications. If you want to Google, okay, I'm on Lipitor, what um, cytochrome P450 enzyme is Lipitor primarily metabolized by? And then I figured that out and then I check to see if it's uh, overlapping with one of these. So THC and CBN are both cannabinoids and they are metabolized primarily by cytochrome uh, P450, isozyme 2C9, and isozyme 34A. And then CBD is primarily metabolized by cytochrome P450, isozyme 2C19, and 34A as well. So uh, if you want to bring that up with your doctor, you're more than welcome to, or if you don't want to bring that up, you, nobody's making you. But um, it's important to be informed that the medications you're taking can be um, can influence the way that cannabinoids are metabolized and the other way around. So just something to be aware of specifically like statin, cholesterol lowering drugs, uh, blood thinners, immunosuppressants, 
um, SSRIs, the, the list goes on and on. So I do recommend doing your research for whatever medications affect you. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and catch you next time.